Hi everybody, it's Aunt Roslyn again today. Um, I've done a few videos today to help some of you and I just want to let you know that I'm so happy to be speaking with you. I'm honored for any of you who have come to me for consultations and readings. Um, anyone who's come to me for my candle burning services or the products on Roots of Earth. Um, <clears throat> I want you to know that we really do work from our heart and we want to see you do so well in your life and have a better understanding of spirituality, magic, all of it, prosperity, love, and how you can have more and more of the life that you want. That's why we're here. That's why I'm here and uh, why I want to help you. Okay. So today I just wanted to <clears throat> speak to you for a few minutes regarding money and prosperity. You know, yesterday was Thursday and I do a money altar burning. It's a candle service and there's always talk and interest about money, but it's not always good. Okay. So there's people around you in your circle who may have been, you know, instilling thoughts and ideas about money and prosperity way back, you know, when you were in your childhood. Do you listen to your parents and, you know, your relatives? What did they think and say about money? Did they say that, you know, we'll never have money to afford that? We don't go on trips because we're not rich or, you know, that's for different people. We don't have uh, money like that. I work all day and it doesn't, you know, it's just enough to pay the bills. These are the things that some of our family might have put over on us, okay? It does not matter really uh, where you come from. These are thoughts and beliefs about money and income that will affect you throughout your lifetime, you know? And you can always tell if some of the negative energy is there with you and how you're feeling and relating to your own income and your career and your businesses and your finances and your prosperity and how much wealth you're accumulating in your life. Do you get to a certain point and it's like you never seem to get past this certain part of this invisible ceiling because of your coworkers, they seem to get something that you don't get that advancement or that raise? Or is it because you live in um, a certain place and you think, well, one day I would like to move, I would like to have more, but it just never seems to happen. I never seem to be able to save money. I never seem to be able to have the other things that I really want in life that I desire, that I think I deserve, okay? Those thoughts and feelings are really an indication <clears throat> and a symptom that you have the wrong energetic connection to money and finance and wealth. Uh, one of the key things that I bring up in my readings, um, whether I'm doing root work, candle magic, uh, conjure, etc., one of the key things that I bring up in my consultations is that you could be in your own way with your energy that you're connecting to money because money and the energy and the outlook we have, it affects all parts of our life. Did you know that your love of self and the way you feel and your level of happiness in your life, all of those things are attached to money and prosperity, okay? And also during my sessions, I teach different ways to start at the basics of how you feel and then carrying things out in your actions. There's different things that I do to bring in um, more and more prosperity. And a lot of it is to do with your energy and your thoughts and your feelings. Okay. So I hope that that was giving you just a little bit of clarity about money and how it is really generational things we inherited from people before us who gave us this energy and this thought and this outlook on money and how we can start with basic things, our thoughts, feelings, our energy and root work and conjure to help us to get the things that we want and the things that we do deserve in our lives. So um, I, if you have any questions, you can uh, click on the links below and get in touch with me. I'd be happy to work with you. And I just want to encourage you to keep going <clears throat> and know and understand you're blessed. You're not alone in this. And I'm here for you. I want you to just have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.